The field property of real numbers, again, for all real numbers A, B, and C, again, they have to be all real numbers, each one of them. And we're gonna let for these examples A equal 12, B equals six, and C equals five. In this video, we're gonna talk about the inverse properties, okay? There's two different parts, the property of opposites and property of reciprocals. First, we're gonna deal with the property of opposites. For each, make sure I don't rub it, uh, the other writing out, for each A, there is a unique real number, negative A, such that, such that, so again, that unique is a specific, there's a unique one and only, such that A plus it's opposite, negative A equals zero, and negative A plus A equals zero. Okay, we call that negative A is called the opposite or additive inverse of A, okay? As the opposite or additive inverse of A, all right? So if we see that in real, a real example of it, 12 for being A plus its additive inverse, which is negative 12 equals zero, and negative 12 plus 12, we know, equals zero. They kind of cancel each other out to get zero when you add them together. That is the inverse. Now again, it could be any real number, so our original A could be a negative number, all right? And then its, its inverse would be a positive number, okay? Um, and it could still be zero too. Zero is a real number. Zero plus zero is zero still. Property still holds. Now the property of reciprocals is a little more difficult and states for each A except zero, okay, except zero, there is a unique, again, unique real number one over a, all right, so one over a, make a little fraction here, such that a times one over a equals one, and one over a times a equals one, meaning they'll cancel them out. But again, be, be careful in the future, we're gonna learn more about it, that a is any real number. So a could already be a fraction, and so you have to be careful on how you flip this, okay? But we call the one over a is called the reciprocal or multi, uh, multiplicative inverse of A, okay? It's multiplicative inverse of A, okay? So for example here, of both A, B, and 12, we can say that, okay, 12 times one over 12, that equals one, which is true, that cancels out here, one times one over 12, or one, to, or tw or sorry, 12, times one over 12, the same thing as 12 divided by 12 really, and then equals one, and as well as we'll flip it around, one over 12 times 12 equals one. Uh, thank you for watching, hopefully this was informative about the inverse properties.